What's up YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you all tonight. Tonight in this short video, I want to show you all how you can copy and paste files and photos to your iCloud on your Mac and how you can drag and drop files and photos inside your iCloud in your Finder on your Mac. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Like I said, you can do the drag and drop or you can just do the copy and paste. There's a lot of people that do not know how to do this, so that's the reason why I'm making this video now. So if you know how to do this, then I guess this video wouldn't be for you. But if you're a new beginner to Mac, I guess this video is for you. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have your files and your photos. Once you have your files and photos ready, you can then open up your Finder by selecting Finder or just clicking it. Or you can just do a Command F and that will also open up Finder as well. Once you have your Finder open, you just simply want to click on your iCloud here. You can also create new folders inside your iCloud folder here by simply just right clicking and choosing new folder. So as you see here, I have two folders, one called Bodybuilder and one called Cars. The reason why is because I'm a bodybuilder and of course, like any other guy, I love cars. So, with that being said, let's click on my bodybuilder folder here. You'll see that I have zero items inside this folder. Now, I'm just going to come over to the files that I want to drag over and the photos. And I'm going to choose Command and click on those files, like so. Once I'm done with the file selection here, I'm going to hold down the Option key. Now, you want to release the Command key. That's just so you can copy multiple files at once. Once you're done, of course copying those files well selecting those files I'm sorry you want to hold down your option key now you want to hold down your option key and just drag it over and just drop release your option key you'll then see a sinking and waiting load bar here once that's done like so that's it now that's how you drag and drop inside your iCloud folder now I'm going to show you how you can do the copy and paste you want to open up your cars folder here like so Again, come over to your desktop or your other folder, wherever it may be on your Mac, inside your Finder. You want to then hold down a command again and select the files and the photos like so. But in this case, I'm going to choose Command C. So I'm going to release the command key once I'm done selecting my files. And then I'm going to hit Command C to copy. I'm going to come over to my Finder window here like so and choose Command V. Once I'm done, it's going to give you the same thing. The loading bar, syncing, and waiting. Depends on how big the files are. It may take a little longer, but in my case, it was really quick and simple. That is how you can do the copy and paste or drag and drop for iCloud. Now we're going to close down the Finder here because we're done with that. Now we just want to make sure that everything was successful and it went inside the iCloud like it should have. We're going to go to iCloud.com. We're going to enter... Uh, info like so don't try to copy my email address I know it's a lot of hackers out there that's probably trying to look to get my email address but nope can't get that one if you want my email address just hit me up and I'll give it to you I'm a cool guy but anyway now that we're here on iCloud.com we're gonna choose iCloud Drive because that's where the photos should be right once we're here you wanna go to your folders that you created in my case I have bodybuilder and cars I'm going to double click on Bodybuilder. Now, I just want to view the files and photos by simply clicking that file. And there's one that is the basic beginner workout plan that I have. And we have Cable Flies. This is really cool. Tells you about the muscles in the body and the rib cage and all of that cool, good stuff. And when you're in the gym, getting that real good pump. And we're going to choose the last one. That's it. So you can do the same thing for any folder. Just to double check to make sure everything, you know, was successful, like I said. And uh, if you simply want to download those files from another computer, you'll simply just go to iCloud.com, sign in once you're there, choose the photo, and choose download. Like so. It will then go to your downloads folder and then you'll see all of your photos and files that you simply just downloaded from iCloud that you sync yourself with a copy and paste and a drag and a drop 
I hope this video was very informative for you all. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe for your man. I really, 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 truly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. This is your man, Big B Production 100. I'll let you.